what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more west world we're here with season two episode four starting today i realized that nobody really commented about what i talked about on the last, on the last review i guess people just agreed with me that it's um the quality of the show definitely dipped and i took notice of that and when something like that happens i'm gonna talk about it as I said, it's not that I'm not enjoying the show, as I said, but my level of enjoyment is not the same as season one, two, three episodes. And there's just certain things that I'm noticing that just, it's not as grounded as season one. You know what I'm saying? It's just not as grounded. It's just like certain things are happening. You don't know what's going on. Um, whatever. <sighs> she's just she, she she's just not convincing to me as a anti-hero she's a straight-up villain that has been created and i understand you can understand things from her perspective but in my opinion at the end of the day there's just this thing in the back of my mind saying you're not human <laughs> you're not human period you may you may be the closest thing to being a human, but you're still not human. Yes, there's a possibility that you could die, but you also can't die if nobody kills you. So you can't experience natural death. You 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 know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 just crazy to me. So for me, I know somebody was in the comment section I, I a long time subscriber on the channel will try and ch challenge me about it and saying that it is possible and i'm like well in, in in when you take some things into consideration yes it might be possible but at the same time you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that ai can't take over but i don't think they can take over completely i don't think it's possible for ai to take over completely i don't think anybody has the acumen to fit anything into an electronic device or anything as i said if you're talking about the internet of taking over electronics on a whole yes i can believe you but in a human form like that a, a humanoid form like that i don't think it could happen but I think if anybody created anything like that, there would be so much regulations and restrictions and, and stuff like that and fail safes and every and so many things in place. But I mean, I guess you could hack into it and let it free. I, I, I guess there is that still that possibility. I'm not saying, you know, it, it, I just feel like it just I, I don't see that happening. And if it does happen. You know, it's going to be way after I'm dead and gone anyways. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we are... I think if, if, you, if you had the same scenario happen in real life, most countries would just agree to just nuke the place. You get what I'm saying? Just nuke it. Drop a big-ass EMP over there and just kill everybody. You get what I'm saying? So... I'm just saying, they they would be collateral damage because, you know, there are humans still there, but they would just call it a day because they can't afford for them to get out and get into the real world. They just can't afford that because who knows what they're going to do when they get out there. You don't know what they're going to do. You don't know if they're going to cause a war. You don't know if they're going to want peace because that's the thing that I have a problem with her. That is the, the problem that I have with her. We don't know her goals. We don't know anything about her. At least with most anti-heroes, you know what their plan is. We don't know what her plan is. We know she's heading places, but we don't know what she's planning to do when she gets to those places. And I think at the beginning of this season, that should have been established. It should have made her made a speech or something. But all we've all she's talked about so far in any of her speeches is that we've been prisoners. And they've, you know, they, they've been poking and prodding us and all of this other stuff. And now we're going to get him back. <laughs> you know, that's about it. But maybe I'm not paying attention enough to understand what's going on. But let, but we'll see if things change. 
go down the line i think they had a chance to really set those goals so that this season can can actually put her in the driving seat of the star and role of the show but in my opinion if they're turning her into a straight up villain they're doing a very damn good job of that because now that old boy has betrayed her what is she going to do is she going to kill him is she going to kill teddy i don't know i don't know <laughs> you know what i'm saying i don't know but we'll see anyways let's jump into it i will see you guys for the review all right so first of all let me apologize by saying i should have gave the show <laughs> some more time you know what i'm saying i should have gave the as i said i was starting to think that the quality of the show was declining as i said there was there, there's still a lot of unnecessary things they did in those first three episodes that i think really and truly if they had just shown his william's daughter like getting mauled by the tiger whatever the situation is getting captured if this was the episode that started the season i think they could have begin i think they could have opened the season with this episode this is the first episode where i felt like um you know what i'm saying this would have been a great opening episode even with all the mystery if they had opened the season with you know what i'm saying just adding on just a couple of scenes from those other three episodes i think i would have been praising the show completely and that's not to say that you know what i'm saying i'm completely wrong about what i did in my review for the for the last couple of episodes and what i was saying about it it's just to me if you sh i'm glad that they showed the aftermath of what was going on you know the people died four dead you know the the delos coming to the island first episode they did a good job but i think that if they had like the the final like 30 minutes of this episode tacked on to like that episode i had like an hour and a half beginning bro everybody would have been like what you get what i'm saying but they took too much time in establishing things for us to be like wow for this episode and it just felt like it wasn't going in the right direction there's just so many things that they showed and i was like why is this happening and why is that happening we got the payoff for what was going on like they showed um william with um james delos um in the in the little cage or whatever they were trying to transfer people's consciousness that's what they were working on because this whole time i didn't know what was going on either because they didn't reveal anything to us so we was wondering what was going on if they figured out a way but in a way i feel like bernard or or arnold i felt like that was the situation with him but it seems like i don't know i think i think ford transferred his consciousness bro i don't think is that I think he transferred his consciousness and that's what that's the last one that was printed before i think they figured i think i think bernard i think ford figured it out how to do it right i think he figured it out and he he told bernard print my shit and kill everybody else <laughs> i think that's what happened in the lab you know what i mean i don't think ford is dead man i don't well in physical form i guess he's dead but if he transferred his consciousness who did he transfer his consciousness to like who did bernard implant it in because it's like you know it's a it's a hybrid of human and host so that's gonna be a crazy con you know what i'm saying like it, this is gonna be nuts this is gonna be nuts i'm back i'm back on the hype train i'm back on the hype train so i am going to give a formal apology here publicly to ever doubting these people because they did it again i thought this season was going to be mediocre based on those three episodes because those three episodes they were not as good as any of the episodes in season one none not even one of them they were not as good 
You know what I'm saying? But this episode four of season two saved it for me and brought me back to the hype of this series. And I'm apologizing because I I really started to doubt that they were going to deliver you know, and I really started to kind of like doubt it because of, you know, you know, other people saying that the rest of the season are not great. Only season one was good. I have plenty of people with comments when I start, when they suggested it and stuff like that, people have said this to me. So, um, to be honest, I didn't go into season two with the greatest of expectations and they blew me out of the water with, with episode four, bringing Elsie back was great. I didn't expect that that was that was awesomely done all the tying up so many loose ends in in this episode and I think what happened was I think a lot of the scenes that we were seeing it was just so unnecessary what Dolores is doing like I'm I'm, I'm so not really interested in it's it's like I want to see what her part in this overall is I really want to see that, but at the same time, I don't really want to see it because she's not that interested in the character anymore, in my opinion, but that's just me. I want to see how they're going to bring her back into being super relevant again because I do believe that she has a great relevancy towards it. Did, did he transfer his consciousness to Dolores? Like, that's, you know what I mean? Like, what's going on i don't think he did but i also it could be you know what i'm saying it is possible but you know so i'm i'm looking forward to seeing what they're gonna do with the dolores character now because of what just happened transpired in episode four because that's the twist i was waiting on i was waiting for something to happen to kind of bring my interest back to the sh into the show because you know now we know why you know why they're so gung-ho on getting this out of the park you know what i'm saying because they really want the the this could be the the, the source of immor immortality they it, it, you know what i'm saying like the the urgency of it makes sense now you get what i'm saying because i'm like you're just trying to get some code out like what's the big deal but i guess delos having their hands on basically the source of immortality that's the next step from host to making humans immortal it's the next <laughs> it's literally the next step from cloning us <laughs> you know what i'm saying so um i'm hyped for that because it it puts us into now a new realm of the possibilities of what this show can do and it makes a lot of sense of the urgency of getting this code out i don't know if it's gonna get out they do have abernathy but there's so many things that could happen in the next you know six episodes for the season that you know it might not happen so um great reveal at the end revealing that this lady that came on the island is william's daughter i didn't expect that because i thought you know he literally said that she died so I don't understand why we, he said that in the scene, the last scene, and he was all talking to James. He's like, yo, she killed herself. So I don't understand how this, how, I mean, his wife killed herself. Sorry, sorry, my mistake. The daughter, he said his wife is dead. Oh, he never said that she's dead. If I'm recalling correctly, he never said he's dead. He said, your wife is dead. Your daughter is dead, right? Um... Your daughter killed herself, right? So you basically don't have anybody. And Logan overdosed. So your whole family is dead. So you never mentioned anything about the daughter. About his daughter. I mean, he did ask about him in a previous scene before. He said she's, you know, okay, jumping around, whatever. Um, you know, just as smart as he is and all that stuff when he asked about her. But, um, so yeah, he never said that his daughter was dead. But it wasn't in the back of my mind that that could be her. You know what I'm saying? Like, it never occurred to me that she could be her. So that was a great reveal at the end, of course. This was a good time. I've got to give them a round of applause for bringing back the interest for the show. 
the show definitely needed that it was a very slow start in my opinion even though we've seen a couple of good battles and stuff like that but as i said i don't know if they were trying to establish dolores as a villain in the story like i was like where are we going with this i was still paying attention as i said it didn't take away my joy for the show but i really wanted to know where is all of this going what are you setting up you know and as i told you guys before pacing is extremely important when it comes on to to tv shows it's extremely important not so much for movies because you could you could wait because you know the movie is not going to last forever but with um with tv shows it's it's hard because you know they could take the whole season to establish this thing and you don't really have the patience for it and for me when it comes on to pacing as i've said before it's the ability to go through this again would i go through and watch those three episodes if i watch if i watch this series five ten years from now again just with somebody else probably won't i'll probably just jump in when they start watching episode four because those three episodes nothing really take took place in my opinion there were very small scenes that showed that gave you hints towards what was revealed in, in episode four you know what i'm saying most of it was all about dolores cleaning house and killing humans and you know we barely got to see Maeve you know what I'm saying we know what she wants to do so for me it was just for the most part they were trying to establish the character that Dolores is now you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna be honest it, it wasn't hitting for me you know what I'm saying it just wasn't hitting for me but this episode four they took her completely out of the episode and just gave us bombs after bombs after bombs bringing you know what i'm saying bringing back elsie um revealing some stuff about about um james delos and william revis trying to develop consciousness and putting into host and all it it was an awesome episode i'm real they reel me back in with episode four so i'm enjoying it anyways thank you guys so much man i appreciate y'all that was great i might watch another episode right now but i am going to try to get this episode um out for you guys on friday and um just tomorrow and uh probably do another episode so i can have one more for you guys on saturday right so yeah i appreciate you guys they definitely reel me back in i can't i can't even lie so it's an apology a half apology because i'm not completely taking back everything because it's how i felt at the end of episode three but i definitely am saying that you know episode four really redeemed the season for me so i'm back on the hype train westworld is fire let's go thank you guys so much leave a like leave a comment you know what to do i'm out peace